going for a quick wander. I find myself in the abominable position of there uh, being beerless. On arrival in uh, what I like to think of as a new port. So, obviously, there's going to be some harsh words at the uh, the procurement committee. But uh, that's for later. For now, we've got to get the beer sorted. So I think, I've Googled it, I think it's up here. I can see, like why people would like this. It's a lovely little sort of, it's not a basin as such, it's an arm. It's almost like a little oasis in the city. I think the road is up these steps here. We're not in sort of the true shopping area of Manchester, what I think of it as anyway. We're not far from Dean's Gate. So it's turned out a lovely day. After a little bit of cloud. So, which is the shop? Can only be this way. Gonna have a quick look. Gonna have a quick look over here. So, I think that down there is the canal that runs through Manchester. I'm on an arm here, the branches off it. That's the main canal with the nine locks. So the choice isn't endless here. It's not like uh, you've got a million little local shops or any kind of grocery shop. I know there's a Sainsbury's local up this road to the left, about a mile. Sorry, about a kilometre. But not really in the mood for it. Right. I think it's there. Uh, can I get across here? Yeah. And this is the little grocery shop. And uh, unless you want a kilometre, walk up to Sainsbury's. It's the only game in town. I'll well, have to check this out. I'm not feeling it. Chicken curry pie. Two quid for a chicken curry pie. Yeah, maybe I'm feeling it a little bit. So if you're coming up the Rochdale 9, the first lock is right ahead there. I've heard people say, well two people, that if you can't find space in that basin where I am, come up through this first lock and it's kind of okay there. Right, good afternoon. Look at that by the way. Dutch barge. It looks like it, the real deal, doesn't it? Absolutely amazing thing. Just, that just lovely. But look at this absolutely gorgeous uh, 
This is amazing, this little place. Like, I, I worked in Manchester for five years. I had no idea. In fact, perhaps it wasn't here then, because it was around the early noughties. Right, this looks like the way I need to go. And tomorrow's my last day. Because you only get 72 hours. I arrived yesterday lunchtime. So last night was my first night, tonight's the second. Tomorrow it'll be my last night. So my first sort of full day in Manchester has been marred slightly by uh, non-stop rain this morning, pretty much non-stop. And heavy at times. And I've not got a brolly. So, instead of going towards the more interesting shops, which I understand are located that away. I'm actually going towards a boring retail park. Uh, see if I can pick up a cheap brolly. And also, uh, a shirt or two. Because what I've found is for the last couple of years, I've been able to find shirts in Sainsbury's. <laughs> it's just, I'm just gonna make people laugh. Uh, but they do sort of these uber cheap shirts and you know they're not intended to last you 10 years they're kind of semi-disposable really but they sort of look okay I, I fe I'm feeling just too scruffy so I'm going to see if I can pick up a couple of more and what's, um, what's really weird about this right is that this is the route I used to drive into Manchester. But yeah, this was my exit route from town, sort of to commute home to Liverpool. And uh, it was never an enjoyable drive. Fantastic town. The price is, it's mental traffic. This is a bit ridiculous really, to sort of cruise all the way into Manchester and then head for a Sainsbury's. But it's a typical, it's typical of me really. It's a typically stupid thing that I do. You know, it is what it is, I, I just feel. And it's only really struck me yesterday and today in such a fashionable town with so many well-dressed people, I've realized so how scruffy I am. You know, as, as nice as it is to see, to, to sort of be in the middle of a, you know, a thriving and prosperous town and all the amenities and all, all that, um, I can kind of see why I got fed up with it as well. It's a personal thing, a personal thing, and I'm possibly imagined. Is this the way I came in? It wasn't that, was it? I don't feel like it was that, but... Like, we can't be... No, no, it isn't that. No, it's not that. It turns to the left. Here we are now, I remember this. Yeah. This is my turn. I basically don't want to walk a yard further than I have to. So, yeah, straight on it's got to be. Because sometimes you're doing this in the rain and in the cold and the dark. Sometimes it's horrible and you want to get it over with fast. Right, so this is Dean's Gate, and uh, I think it's a fairly major shopping street. Amazing sort of town centre. I mean, this isn't even the real town centre, we're kind of on the outskirts, really. Huge Odeon cinema over there. 
don't know what you're thinking, and I agree. This feels like one of the areas that has things like solicitors and businesses and banks. Alex's Bakery, hello. Hello, hello, hello. I think we've got to check this out. Right. Right, okay. Not really. Now, it's kind of getting interesting in a retail point of view. Up ahead there's a sign with an arrow saying pies. Now, I'm not, I wasn't going to go that way. But they kind of got me with that. So I'm going to check it out. Right. So it's a cafe. Iron Mash. So let's see. I wasn't going to carry on, but now I am. <coughs> because I haven't been to a press for about two and a half years. I'm just getting withdrawal symptoms. Oh, Evan Cycles, hello. I need some cycle tyre remover levers. Where better? What's that shot? So, I think, right, it's one of these turnings on the right here is what I'm looking for for Pret a Manger. So, the food in Pret is just, it's, it's lovely. This is more the business district, isn't it, than the shopping district. So, <coughs> very regrettable from a tourism and interest point of view, but not from a scoff point of view, which I've got to be honest is my main priority. Would I go past? It's only an M&S food hall. So I think M&S is down here. Right, yes. Okay. Well, clearly, I can't pass one of these things without going in. That's not happening. Now then. Compulsory. Oh yes. There we go. So, we've got that and that. Which will make a single huge dish. Fix for a greedy pig. So for what you get, these are ruinously expensive, but I've got to have one. Fruit gums that expire in five days. That's not a good idea, is it? Right, so we've got here a massive queue. you need it round here. We've got a little miniature park in the middle of the city. Aha! Up ahead it says no way through. 
which is pretty unequivocal. I know that the basin is basically straight ahead, but I can't get there through here. High rise buildings all around, but you've still got nice little, I don't know what they are, apartments, houses. Guys, looking back, wondering what the hell I'm doing. So am I, mate. an actual car like that was that's not just a fabricated that's the real thing isn't it something more remarkable. I'm kind of not impressed. What's happening is I'm slightly lost. Yeah, Came down from there and the basin is somewhere there. So I figure I can't go too far wrong. I'll go this way. Some kind of mini basin going on down here. I wonder if people are living on that. I wonder if that's what's going on. Look at this crazy higgledy piggledy. Bridges everywhere. And this is some kind of base, and I bet you any one of these liverboards. Back end of nowhere basin.
So uh, Godless Den of Edens, though Manchester clearly is, um, they have a cathedral. Well, the best, I don't know what's up there, let's go and have a look. Sorry guys, can I uh, just squeeze past? Oh, thanks a lot folks, yeah. cheers. <laughs> Cobbles, right? Absolute death to a Brompton. Absolutely fair, bloody death to this thing as well. So what on uh, earth? This is amazing uh, shopping centre they've got. I mean, retail heaven. Trams. Again, tram lines right there to a Brompton wheel. Not on this baby. Editions of old Spider-Man comics, I presume. I obviously wouldn't know. Over there, we have the famous Arndale Centre. Like I've heard of it. In fact, I've been inside it many, many years ago. I don't really know where the hell I am, to be honest. There's my boat over there. <sighs> Chance these cobbles, even on a flat tired bike, they're still no joke. And now just. There's the footbridge. where the hell I'm going because this is narrow so I'm just about ready to leave I think it's an absolute warren when you first arrive an absolute warren of bridges and footpaths and all sorts of shenanigans you know when you're in this basin Ready to go. 